Let's face it, databases were originally about data quality, but nowadays people just throw any old junk in there. I have a table of data which is mostly numeric, but it is stored in a varchar2 column because occasionally we get some data which is non-numeric. How can I sort the data in numeric order where possible? The moment this question came in, I knew exactly what the requirement was and I know exactly what someone means when they say, I'd like to sort it numerically because I would imagine the data is coming in from something like Excel. Here's some sample data coming in. It's partly numeric, partly non-numeric. And one of the cool things in Excel is you can say, look, if anything looks like a number, sort it as a number, the rest just put it at the bottom. And you can see the result there. We get one, two, three, four, five through, and the numbers come out first, and then all the rest gets sorted sort of roughly in order. So I'd be willing to bet this data has come either via an Excel spreadsheet or at some point in its life was in an Excel spreadsheet. And we'd like to do the equivalent in SQL to be able to sort it in numeric order where possible. So, there are various methods to do this, and I thought I'd show you some of the methods that have sort of been used over the years and probably where are some of the gotchas in some of the old methods. So I'm going to create a table, which is the exact same content I had pasted into that Excel spreadsheet. So you can see there's some numerics in there floating around. There's some just purely text, and there's a mix of numbers and numerics as well. And I'm just using the sys ODCI varchar2 list. It's a a pre-delivered varchar2 array as an easy way of populating the data. So we do select star from T and there's our data in a random order and we would like to assign some order to it, picking up the numbers at the top. If I just do order by one, you can see the problem. It doesn't have the smarts that Excel would have. And whenever you have numeric data stored in a varchar2, you're obviously sorting it actually by ASCII sequence or whatever your character set sequencing is. So it sort of looks like it's roughly in order 1, 10, 11, et cetera, until I get to 12, because 1, 2 trails 1, 0, and 1, 1, and 1, 1, 1, 1, et cetera. I've sorted it effectively in string order as opposed to a character set order as opposed to numeric order. Here's probably one of the time-honored ways that we strip out numeric data from varchar2 data in the Oracle database. So I'm going to, first of all, trim any trailing spaces or leading spaces off my formula. I'm going to use what's called a translate function. And what translate does is simply take any of these characters, if it finds them, and translate them to a zero. So what that does is effectively says, take every single numeric number that's in there, numeric digit, change it to a zero. Then I'm wrapping that with replace. Replace all the zeros with nothing. I've left out the final character. So effectively, I'm saying, rip everything out that's a digit. If at the end of that exercise, I have nothing left, I can assume that this thing is entirely digits and therefore it's most probably numeric. We'll put aside for the sec second the concept of things like decimal points and currency indicators, etc. We're keeping this example nice and simple. So if we think this thing is entirely consists of digits, what we'll do is we'll pad it out. We'll left pad it out such that all the digits now become right aligned. Therefore, things with three digits will now sort after things with, say, one digit. This is probably the, the most common method you would see to either sort by numerics, extract numerics, etc., etc., that we used to use uh, in the earlier versions of Oracle. Replace, translate, change all the digits to zero, change the zeros to null, and you get all the numbers coming out first to there, and then we get all the strings coming out at the end. This is probably what people have moved to once we got to say Oracle 9 or 10, when we started the introduction of things like regular expressions. We can do the same thing with just a little bit more convenient syntax. Effectively, once again, if this thing consists of solely digits, effectively digits, any number of them from start to the end of the string, then once again, we'll sort by the L padding of X. We get the same result. It pops out numbers first and then the strings later. So this is probably the thing you're more likely to see from Oracle 9, 10, 11 onwards. It's really the same logic, just a much sort of slightly more convenient syntax. Now, here's a slightly interesting variation that actually came from a Ask Tom customer. You might actually want to sort the strings also with some semblance of numeric order as well. In the previous example, for example, 1ABC was sorting after 11ABC, and similarly, 22 was coming before 2. This slight extension here 
where we're effectively saying, okay, are there any leading numbers in there, even though it's not in completely numbers, then we'll decide which way we're going to sort it. If you've seen this thing in the past where we just sort by that, sorry, if we just sort by that, then yes, that takes care of the numbers, but it might not take care of the, let's call them semi-numbers, things that start with numerics, but then trail off with non-numerics. If you want to sort them as numerically as you possibly can, uh, then this is the way to do it. We're actually adding in a little bit more logic at the end if the thing starts with numbers, but might not necessarily have other numbers at the end of it. Here is now return to the previous version of replace and trim, but I'm using a different mechanism as opposed to using LPAD. What I'm doing now is actually putting two number. So if it is numeric, I'm actually going to convert it to a numeric number and then sort by that, which gives me what looks like the exact same result. So why would I do this? Why would I not just choose, for example, the LPAD thing, which seems to give the same result? Well, here's the interesting thing. And unfortunately, I don't have multiple machines to do it on. Two number takes care of sorting when it comes to different versions of character sets and different hardware platforms. Because don't forget, some platforms have, for example, things like byte swapping, Windows platforms versus, say, big Unix platforms. You can actually get different sorting sequences when you come to sorting strings. What that means is anything like LPAD or RPAD as a mechanism of sorting, but you're sorting in what you hope to be a numeric order, is not guaranteed to be platform and character set independent. So while they all work here, because I'm all running this on Windows, you need to be careful if you're running this across, say, multiple platforms or multiple character sets. Using two number is the only cast iron guaranteed way of making sure you actually sort numbers as numbers. So I put this in there just to reinforce the fact that if you have some digits, try and convert them to digits. If you're now on 12C or above, you can make it even much easier now because things like two number have a effectively a catch-all syntax to let you fail a two number operation without crashing the entire query. So I can say, order by two number, try convert X to a number. If it works, I get X at the end of it. If it, not, if it doesn't work, I'm going to default to a very high value on a conversion error. Once again, I get some nice sorting now, right? So it's simply going to do that. And then I sort by X as a secondary option. So I could do that. Obviously, now I need to know what some sort of high value is, something that's going to be higher than any of the possible numbers in my list. So you can do it this way. I, I still like this because we're not, now not doing replace, trim, regular expression, et cetera, et cetera. It's fairly obvious what we're trying to do. We're saying if it's a number, use it. Otherwise, default to some other number. If you don't want to have that unknown high number in there, you can then use the validate conversion option, which is if I can validate this thing as a number, then convert it to a number. In this way, I'm guaranteeing that I'm not going to have my two number function crash. There are some more, more recent examples, ones that I'd recommend, two number with the default on error or validate conversion. I think just more clean and lean options than the conventional dinosaur models that I used to use in terms of regular expressions, replace, trim, etc., etc.